The Spread of Islam in Spain, A Journey Through Al-Andalus Imagine a land where the confluence of cultures sparked a golden age of innovation and tolerance. The spread of Islam in Spain, known as Al-Andalus, is not just a chapter in history, but a remarkable tale of transformation that began in the early 8th century. Led by the audacious Berber general Tariq ibn Ziyad, a small Muslim army crossed the Strait of Gibraltar and set in motion a series of events that would reshape the Iberian Peninsula. This conquest, facilitated by the internal strife of the Visigothic Kingdom, laid the foundation for a civilization that flourished in art, science, and culture, leaving an indelible legacy that still resonates today. Join us as we delve into the extraordinary history of Al-Andalus, a beacon of medieval brilliance. Here I will request you to kindly do not forget to subscribe the channel to appreciate my efforts for presenting you best events from Islamic history. The spread of Islam in Spain, known as Al-Andalus, represents a significant and transformative period in both Islamic and European history. This era, which began in the early 8th century and concluded in the late 15th century, is noted for its remarkable cultural, scientific, and architectural achievements, as well as its unique social and religious dynamics. The Islamic presence in Spain commenced in 711 CE when a Muslim army led by the Berber general Tariq ibn Ziyad crossed the Strait of Gibraltar from North Africa. This military expedition resulted in the rapid conquest of the Iberian Peninsula, facilitated by the internal conflicts and political instability of the Visigothic Kingdom. The pivotal Battle of Guadalete marked the initial victory that paved the way for the establishment of Muslim dominance in the region. By 718 CE, most of the Iberian Peninsula was under Muslim control, with only a few Christian kingdoms remaining in the northern areas. The new Muslim rulers established their capital in Cordoba, setting the stage for a flourishing Islamic civilization. The early period of Muslim rule in Spain was under the Umayyad Emirate, which later evolved into the Caliphate of Cordoba in 929 CE under the leadership of Abd al-Rahman III. This period is often regarded as the Golden Age of Al-Andalus. The Umayyads implemented an effective administrative system, dividing the region into provinces, each governed by appointed officials. They also developed a complex network of roads and communication systems that facilitated governance and trade, contributing to the political stability and economic prosperity of the region. Cordoba emerged as a major center of learning and culture, attracting scholars, poets, and scientists from across the Muslim world and beyond. The city's libraries, such as the one in Cordoba, housed thousands of manuscripts, preserving and expanding knowledge in various fields. Architectural achievements during this period included the construction of the Great Mosque of Cordoba, which exemplified the architectural ingenuity of the era with its stunning arches and intricate design. Additionally, palaces, gardens, and public buildings showcased a blend of Islamic, Roman, and Visigothic architectural styles reflecting the cultural synthesis of the time. One of the most distinctive aspects of Al-Andalus was its social and religious dynamics. The region was characterized by a relatively high degree of religious tolerance, especially in its early centuries, leading to a unique coexistence of Muslims, Christians, known as Mozarabs, and Jews. Christians were allowed to practice their religion and were often integrated into the administrative and cultural life of Al-Andalus. The Mozarabs maintained their Christian faith while adopting many aspects of Muslim culture, including language and dress. The Jewish community also thrived, contributing significantly to the intellectual and economic life of the region. Notable Jewish figures such as Maimonides emerged during this period, making substantial contributions to philosophy, medicine, and theology. The decline of Muslim rule in Spain began in the early 11th century with the fragmentation of the Caliphate of Cordoba into smaller competing taifa kingdoms. These smaller states were often at odds with each other, weakening the overall Muslim hold on the Iberian Peninsula, 
Concurrently, the Christian Reconquista, a series of military campaigns aimed at reclaiming Iberian territories, gained momentum. Key victories, such as the Battle of Las Navas de Tolosa in 1212, significantly weakened Muslim power. Despite the fragmentation, the Nasrid Kingdom of Granada managed to survive as the last Muslim stronghold until 1492. The Alhambra, a stunning palace complex in Granada, stands as a testament to the artistic and architectural achievements of this period. The end of Muslim rule in Spain came in 1492, when the Catholic monarchs Ferdinand and Isabella completed the Reconquista with the capture of Granada. This event marked the conclusion of nearly eight centuries of Muslim presence in Spain. The aftermath saw the forced conversion, expulsion, or persecution of Muslim and Jewish populations, leading to significant demographic and cultural changes. Despite the fall of Muslim rule, the legacy of Al-Andalus remains profound. The period of Muslim rule in Spain left an indelible mark on European culture, science, and architecture. The transmission of classical knowledge, preserved and enhanced by Muslim scholars, played a crucial role in the European Renaissance. Towards the end of this video, we again remind you to like, share, comment, and subscribe the channel. The blending of Muslim, Christian, and Jewish traditions created a unique cultural and intellectual environment that fostered innovations in various fields such as medicine, astronomy, and philosophy. Architectural structures like the Alhambra, the Great Mosque of Cordoba, and the Giralda in Seville continue to attract admiration and study, exemplifying the enduring impact of Al-Andalus on architectural heritage. The spread of Islam in Spain is a testament to the dynamic and transformative nature of Islamic civilization. The rich cultural and intellectual heritage of Al-Andalus continues to inspire and inform our understanding of the medieval world and its lasting legacy in modern times. Thanks for watching.